Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. It's I, Ironcraft Gamer. Today is a little bit of something interesting of a video. Uh, it is a sort of scripted video. While also not being scripted, this is live gameplay as I'm talking here because I am well experienced in being able to speak like this. There will be absolutely no issues that this causes. But uh, today we're going to be talking about a beloved franchise that I feel has been talked about quite frequently, but not to the extent that I think it needs to be. And that is the Cars franchise. Now, if you are well versed in Disney, Pixar, or any of the other uh, it, well versed in animation altogether you most certainly know about cars it is one of Pixar's most famous after all uh, animations maybe only behind Toy Story and honestly I genuinely enjoy the cars franchise for the most part I think Yes, it is lacking in certain areas, but for the most part, I do enjoy the series. And I would love to talk about all of all three of the films together. So, let's talk about that. Let's talk about the first Cars film. I, I was absolute dog shit there, but the first Cars film was okay, in my opinion. It is the best out of the franchise, but not for the reasons everybody believes. I personally do strongly enjoy the car, all of the Cars movies, which I know most people don't. I want to explain why I do enjoy the other Cars films. But, it's going to take some explaining and why I'm not the biggest fan of the first Cars films. From a movie perspective, it is not a bad movie at all. I just personally feel like it was very awkwardly placed. Lightning McQueen wasn't a great uh, uh, protagonist. He honestly felt more of like an antagonist at times. And I just genuinely didn't really enjoy seeing him on screen. But that was my own personal preference. Overall, do I really care too much? Not really. Do I think there could have been... Do I think he could have had a better development as a character? Yes. Honestly, he just felt kind of like a really bad character from the start. So, he didn't feel like he had much really going on for him. Besides his really egotistical, unlikable self. Which was just annoying a big majority of the time. He wasn't a very great character. And I didn't enjoy watching his moments on screen because of this fact that he was just felt so egotistical which is was part of his character and is something and it was part of the growth of his character but it really wasn't something that we saw truly too much grow from him It wasn't really something that we saw grow too much from him as from a character standpoint We didn't see him grow and grow out of this egotistical uh, and narcissistic character until really the third movie in the franchise which is disappointing As there was so much room for him to be to grow especially in the first film in the franchise which they just really didn't so, it just left with a lot of disappointment aspects of that film. 
Now, it on besides the fact that Lightning McQueen was just pretty a pretty unenjoyable character, I had a lot of fun with the first. I had a lot of fun with the first Cars film. It wasn't, I thought it was poorly paced, but you know, and it was just the storyline didn't, the story of the film didn't really make all that much sense. But I could overall enjoy the film. It was honestly not a bad film, but it really wasn't that great either. It was just kind of meh, and which is perfectly fine. There's nothing really wrong with it being a meh film. And of course, this is all my own opinion. I don't necessarily think that it is an entirely correct opinion it's just what i think now cars 2 oh boy let me explain why i like this film because there is absolutely no reason why i should like this film as much as i do but for some reason i just find it so stupidly awkward and weird that i enjoy it a lot I find the conflicts really dumb. The only aspect about this film is that they kind of just completely discarded its existence in, in the rest of the franchise. They said, "Screw it, we're not gonna, we're gonna pretend this this movie doesn't even exist," and we expect you to all just be fine with that. So. Overall, he's just kind of that film. That film is honestly not a bad film. It's just like the first Cars film, where it's kind of just boring. I feel like the reason why the first Cars film is better is because it's just more classic. But I, I am going to say this: I had more fun watching Cars two than I did the original Cars film, for my own personal preference, and. This, of course, is going to be different for everybody, but and but I like I said, I just genuinely enjoyed the second Cars film more of more simply because of the idiocracy and stupidity of that film. It was just hilarious. I mean, there's a lot of fucking deaths in that film. Like that film's got some of the most deaths out of any Disney film. And it, it's just the most ridiculous shit. It, it is just genuinely for a Disney film, that film is super dark with its deaths. And I just love it. It, oh, I'm not going to say it's a great film because it's not, but it is one of my guilty pleasure films just like just like Shark Tale. Shark Tale is a pretty bad film. It, it definitely doesn't have the qualities of a good movie, but it is a lo it is just an enjoyable film to watch because of how stupid of a film it is. And that's what I like about it. I will say the 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 only sad thing is is that this film is pretty much not even recognized. Like you, there is no way that I, that film did probably so badly on Disney's on in like Disney's records and like ways that they ranked stuff like Disney probably said yeah we're not even, we're gonna pretend this movie never even happened and that's pretty much what exactly they did they pretended that it didn't exist and they moved on with their life so I now I kind of want to talk about the third film in the franchise and the one that I feel 
had the most potential and just fell flat and it's extremely saddening that it did because like I said it really did have the most potential to be one of the best I don't know what I was doing there. But it, it real so cars three. Lightning McQueen has in the first cars film and cars two is probably the most unlikable character. All of the other ones are fun and quirky in their own way. They're unique. Mater, uh, Sally, the fire truck. But then you got McQueen and oh boy, he's just a sad mess of a character. He it feels like they it's like a one of the Disney executives wanted to make themselves a character and they literally just said fuck it and he literally did exactly that He said, yeah, I'm going to make myself the character. I'm going to make myself the main character of the Cars franchise by, well, becoming an egotistical asshole. And that's kind of what they successfully pulled off. And I guess it worked. I mean, Lightning McQueen's a pretty memeable character, but I'd say as a character, I'd like to watch. And compared to other Disney and Pixar and Antagonist kind of sucked, which is why I really liked him in Cars 3. He actually developed and went through the in through the growth I wanted to see in the original in the first two films in the series. We, and honestly, I'm I really liked Cars 3. Overall, I thought it was the best in the film series up until the ending cars 3 is fun it's got the right humor especially for the time it is in it had the right it had the character growth of mcqueen the comeback story of a of a century it had everything to be perfect but it fell off in one very important area the fact that they went away from the fact that it was McQueen's story. This new side character was... meh. I didn't like this new side character that they introduced. I thought she was pretty boring, and I really just strongly disliked her as a character. She was annoying, and although in certain parts of the movie she was pretty decent, in almost every other way possible, she was just... Every time she had a good scene, pretty much, she completely ruined it. Kind of killed the mood of a lot of scenes. And it was just upsetting. Because like I said, I think this film had potential to be the best in the franchise. Cars 3 was Cars 3 was definitely a good film. I enjoyed it. It was but the ending. They gave it to this really kind of a side character. She didn't do much for the story. They were hyping up McQueen this entire time. We didn't really get any of her backstory until the very end of the film and when my first watch through of this film, I was really excited to see Lightning McQueen's comeback story. And then they threw it away for this side character, and it was disappointing. What could have been the best film in the entire franchise completely fell through because they gave it to this side character, who I don't even enjoy as a character. It was, it was, it was looking up to be Lightning McQueen's redemption and ended up being it was going to be lightning mcqueen's redemption arc pretty much 
from him being this egotistical asshole to him finally getting his ass kicked for once in his goddamn life. And uh, getting his ass kicked, he got, and then realizing that there's more to life than just racing. It just was like, they felt, they had everything to be the best Cars film. In fact, it Cars 3 had everything it needed to be one of the big Pixar's best films and just really fell through with the ending. It was, honestly, I'm, the Cars franchise, the best way to sum it up is that it is a, not a bad film series. It really isn't. It's just that every film has one really bad quality about it. Now, if I had to recommend which film is the best, and if I had... on uh, From a film perspective, the original Cars film is the best of them. From a... From pure enjoyment, though, I am going to... I am not going to say that... The I'm not going to say that the original cars I enjoyed the most. I'm 100% going to admit to the fact that I enjoyed Cars 2 the most. And then from a factor of saying what had the potential to be the best, it was most easily uh, Cars 3 had the potential to be the best in the film series and one of Pixar's best films. But they changed what they were they changed what they wanted to do. They changed what they wanted to do with that film, and not in a good way either. It was just sad. Everything it needed was really good. I, I can't I could go on for hours and hours and if I were to actually script the video I would probably be able to better present my feelings and go into better detail of why I why I think Cars 3 was didn't got done dirty but honestly I I just couldn't I can't really give enough of a shit to want to do that even though it that film probably does deserve the the time and effort put in for a video like that it it does probably deserve better quality of an opinion uh or more time put into something like that but honestly it is currently 10:57 p.m. And I wanted to get this video out for, and done for a while. I was thinking of writing a script for it, but didn't really want to. I prefer doing the more, the raw conversation feeling like opinions. And then, you know. Yeah, I, I just like being more raw with my videos. Which is why they're not as good as quality, but it's what I choose to do. And I'm not going to let other people choose that for me. But, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I most certainly enjoy talking about this stuff, and I might do more content like this in the future. More of this unscripted, non-stream gameplay. And if you guys did enjoy this video, but want to see even more raw footage of me... I just died. If you do want to see more raw footage of me, I highly recommend checking out my streams. I can, you know, I've, it's a, streams are a lot of fun. I can play, I've been playing the Tomb Raider series. I'm definitely going to be picking up some other games here soon though. Uh... Because I have uh, severely been enjoying the games as of recently. And the streams. 
I've been having a lot of fun streaming, which is something, one of the biggest problem I've had with recently is making content for you guys. I know that I'm pretty awkwardly paced with making these videos, and they seem very awkward, awkwardly made. That's because I'm a pretty awkward person in general, but I do want to thank you guys for watching. This has been my me explaining the cars while playing Minecraft Sky Wars. Thank you guys so much, and thank you guys for watching. Peace.